My name is Ricky. I used to be a member here at True Grace. I was an usher here. Um, I, I served many years here. My wife uh, uh, served in the worship team here. I first walked into the through the door to True Grace Church, um, trying to find a way to save my marriage. I just gotten back from Korea, and we uh, we were in a really hard spot. I remember I walked through the doors and. I was still either hungover or drunk. I remember listening to the sermon and hearing Peter uh, really preach a, a, a sermon that, that made me really think about my life. Peter said, you know, the thing is, Jesus has enough believers. Jesus has enough fans. He needs followers. And fast forward a little bit of time, um, you know, I get involved with the security team and the usher team and at no point anything that I was doing that was unhealthy, at no point did anyone here affirm that. But they loved me where I was at to, to see where God can lead my life. I remember one Sunday my wife and I got in a really bad spell and uh, we were on our way to church and I'm just praying during the, during the, time, during the time of worship and I just said, Lord, what, what's your point from all this? Like, what, how's this going to work? Fast forward a little bit as I kind of surrendered my life to the Lord to whatever He wanted to do. And then somewhere in there, God brought us back together and healed our marriage. It was beautiful. I really felt God was calling me back to school. Here at True Grace, they announced a partnership program with Northwest University. I left my regular Army career, uh, E6 Staff Sergeant, you know, uh, with the promises of maybe getting promoted in the future. Uh, and I, I, I left all of that to pursue this calling that God gave me. And I was a little scared. I didn't know what to do. Um, I didn't know what was gonna happen next. All I knew is that this is what God was telling me to do. I sent out my resume to this church called Malone. What's funny about Malone is this is the church Jolene grew up in. We drive out to Malone, she leads worship, I preach, we, we get asked a bunch of questions over pizza. Um, and then they go vote, they unanimously voted, voted me in as their new pastor. And now fast forward, we're just two years later and here we are ministering in this church, growing as a family. And it's just amazing what God has done, but it all started with a drunk or hungover, lost, broken individual walking through the halls of this, through the doors of this church and meeting someone who joyfully walked me to my first chair at church. It is a journey well worth traveled if we're willing to just say yes and just and be obedient to what God's calling you to do and and how we can serve and, and, and bless others. And that's my story.